It's that time of year again, and we've got two mobs that are going to win to lose the vote, and we've got the Sniffer, who's going to win the vote. I mean, have you seen the polling? It's very clearly the front runner in this entire thing. Well, today we've got a custom origin made specifically to be themed after the Sniffer mob, at least from what we know about it so far. This origin is created by the Teotel card, and it comes from the Origins Discord server, which is where you can download it from. The Sniffer is a two-impact origin, born from a long extinct race you're kind of faced with new challenges in this world. And if you want to see me use this origin for a challenge in the future, make sure to subscribe to Crusader Games. <laughs> nice plug. Moving into our first ability, we've got Aquatic Adaptation. Coming from the depths of the ocean, you can hold your breath for twice as long as a normal creature can. Now, at the surface level, this ability seems pretty self-explanatory. You just get double the breathing time, right? Kind of, but yes, but actually no. Because this gives you about 10 seconds of water breathing as a bonus rather than increasing the amount of time it takes for the bubbles to go down. The bubbles will still take the same average 15 seconds before you start taking any form of health damage from drowning. Furthermore, to add to that, you can no longer use a turtle shell helmet in order to increase your water breathing palpability because, well, you can't have two lots of 10 seconds water breathing stack on top of each other. They eliminate each other, so you only end up with one of them and you end up with the one that comes by default. So if you remove your helmet and put it back on, nothing happens, it doesn't reset the cooldown, it does absolutely nothing. Your next ability is Fossilized Formation. Since your kind had to adapt to fierce predators of old, you have 40 health rather than 20. This basically means you've got 20 hearts instead of the normal 10. You're extremely chunky, which makes sense because this mob looks like it's gonna be a bloody behemoth when it comes to Minecraft, because we all know it's going to. <laughs> Next ability, Saturated Sniffer. Using your big nose, you can dig up crops and seeds from the ground. This ability is, of course, based upon the main feature of the Sniffer mob that we know so far. And overall, how this ability has been implemented into this mob is very interesting. Now, first off, it's got a cooldown of roughly somewhere between 60 to 70 seconds, and this ability will not be ready to be used when you first spawn into the game. So you will have to wait the first 60 to 70 seconds out before you can even use this ability once. Whenever you use this ability with a primary ability key, you will be given slowness debuff for a very brief moment then disappears completely, and you'll get given a random cr amount of seeds slash plantable crops from a pool of what I'm assuming is mostly just the plantable seeds or plantable crops. I have no idea if it contains sugarcane or cactus though, but you get the drift on what the purpose of this ability will be. And this ultimately comes a really good food source when we move on to the next ability, Plant His Palette. You gain twice the amount of saturation from crops and items made from crops, which just then turns this powerful ability to get easy food into something stupendously beautiful because, well, not only do you have easy access to really decent foods, these foods are twice as good as what they ever were before. So not only are you going to be super useful in multiplayer scenarios, it's just going to be overall stupendously useful for yourself. Sensitive Stomach. Coming from ages long gone, your stomach is not able to handle any modern animals except for fish. Overall, this ability is just interesting to have have there because I don't think it will matter too much to the game whatsoever. Especially considering in a solo playthrough, why would you waste your time farming animals for their meat when you already have extremely easy access to a lot of crops that are super powerful for you to use. This may prove somewhat interesting to have there as an effect when it comes to multiplayer play because someone else may farm up a lot of steak that is super nutritious and super useful saturation wise, but overall it's a mute point. This ability is kind of there but ultimately won't really do anything. Funny side note, whilst you can't eat any form of raw rabbit whatsoever, you can have a rabbit stew perfectly fine, which is interesting. In the next ability, we've got the Moistened Monster. Due to your oceanic heritage, you'll lose hunger faster in hotter climates. The collection of biomes that you probably want to be aware of when it comes down to this is, of course, your typical desert biome, as well as the mesa biomes, as well as the majority of the never biomes, but probably another little thing on top of that would be the warm ocean biomes, as they also consider hotter climates. But yeah, in these hotter mimes, your hunger will burn so much faster than before. Except for in the desert and the never biomes. Instead, you will literally burn. <laughs> in the desert as well as the never biomes, you will be set a light burning through your health tick by tick, which also will consume your hunger at an even faster rate than before. In your mesas and your warm ocean biomes, your hunger will burn quicker than average, but you won't be set aflame. It's just whenever you go into a desert or the never in general, you will burn. Also making beating this game pretty difficult challenge when you want to roam in the never first things such as blaze rods. 
Next we have Tonnage Trouble. Due to your massive size, you are about 15% slower than normal. Basically, you just have a permanent slowness effect. Except for you don't, because that effect actually isn't on screen. You're just slower. Meaning that other slowness debuffs will be able to affect you as well and are ultimately going to be far more painful than before. Which makes me query, why doesn't the breathing effects follow the same motto? Oh well. So, what are your thoughts on this origin? Let me know in the comments down below as always. And I will be trying to find another collection of origins that fit the other two mobs from the mob vote. But either way, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like button down below and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.